today I'm going to show you guys some little DIY projects and little organization things that I did for my bathroom. We moved in here quite a few months ago now and I just did an apartment tour so if you want to watch that I'll link that in the description box for you and you can see the whole of my apartment. But in this video I decided to show you guys me clearing up my bathroom properly. I originally had started installing a lot of like plants in it and all that sort of thing. I went away and my boyfriend accidentally killed them. So um, this video is about getting my bathroom back on track, reorganizing it and putting in some new DIYs. But first off, if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. So in this video, I'll show you a little bit more decluttering and some DIY projects that I put together. They're all pretty simple. Some of the stuff you could purchase or you could make it on your own like I did. If you do enjoy this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would give it a thumbs up and I will stop interrupting my own video now and I will let the rest of it play. All right, so I'll give you an overview of the beforehand first. So it wasn't as neat as I'd like it. I mean, it still wasn't crazy different. There's no huge differences that happened here, but I just wanted to neaten things up a little and put some style in it. So there's the after. We've got a new plant stand. We've got a DIY pebble bath mat, some new plants on the wall and just some fresh flowers and that sort of thing. Oh, and it's tidy under the cupboard now. So my first step is to declutter. I have a whole video on decluttering your bathroom. I'll link that one in the description box for you guys as well. It gets easier and easier to declutter as you go because you won't be buying as much stuff. And then I found that I wanted to line the bottom of the cupboard and I got a shelf for in there as well. You can find these shelves in all sorts of homeware stores. Another thing to help stop you getting messy is having convenient storage. So things that I use in the shower all the time, I put in this little shower rack that's by toiletries and it just sticks to the wall of the shower. And then I also love having plants in my bathroom. So I have these little fold out, they're kind of like DIY put together type plant hangers. I just decided on two ferns cause I've found that ferns work very well in the bathroom if you make sure you water them, <laughs> bow. Uh, so I found these little plant hangers and they're by, I think it's called Little Urban Farmers. It should come up on the screen for you guys. They're Australian made, I am pretty sure. And you pretty much just fold it up and you plug them together and then you can plant your plants in them. Another thing that I like to do is make things match. So all of the accessories in my bathroom are black and I don't really like all the colorful stuff going on. If you followed me for a while, you'll know that. Uh, so what I'm doing now is just taking my conditioner and my shampoo and I'm putting them in these little pump bottles. Now I'm also making a DIY plant stand. This is pretty simple. The plant that I chose to use was a fig and I'm putting this one in a self-watering pot. Now the middle part that actually holds up the plant, I can't tell you how wide to make that because it does depend on what pot you use. But once you have that piece, you're gonna make a little notch out of the middle and it has to go halfway. And that way you can cross it in with the other to make that simple cross there. And then you're gonna need four legs. I use some that are 60 centimeters long. Once you've got the legs all sorted, you're going to want to measure where you want the plant to sit on them. And then you're gonna screw that all together or alternatively use some wood dowels and place them in the sides of the wood. Now I'm also making a DIY spa style bath mat. This thing is so cool. When you step onto it, it feels like you're stepping onto squishy stones. So I'm gonna use a squishy door mat and then I cut that in half because I didn't need it as big as it was. And I'm gonna use some silicone style glue and some pebbles. The reason I'm using silicone is because it is waterproof and this is obviously going to come in contact with a lot of water. Make sure you check that because a lot of the glues aren't water resistant. Put the pebbles on and then you're gonna let that dry for 48 hours, put some weight on it to let it dry and then you're all good. Then I wanted to have some fresh blooms in there. So I've got my Menu Willman vase and I grabbed that from Minimalist Style Co. Um, check them out if you like my sort of decor, they have all the stuff I like. And then easy as just put some fresh flowers in there because I love the way they smell. And I'll just give you guys another quick overview. So that's how simple it was just to do a tiny little makeover of my bathroom and make sure that everything was all neat and tidy again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.